This is the bench where Tom works, and this is a poem written by Dr. Mark Gold. If you could only know me for who I am, instead of for who I am not, there would be so much more to see, because there's so much more that I've got. So long as you see me as mentally retarded, which supposedly means something, I guess, there's nothing you or I could ever do to make me a human success. Someday you'll know that tests aren't built to let me stand next to you. By the way you test me, all they can do is make me look bad through and through. And someday soon I'll get my chance, when some of you finally adapt. You'll be delighted to know that though I'm MR, I'm not at all handicapped. This is a bicycle brake. Since 1967, when we began this research, it has had a major impact on the development of my philosophy and on the techniques that have generated from our research. Its principal impact has been to point out the discrepancy between what people think are the capabilities of the severely handicapped, the mild and severely and profoundly retarded, and what they're really capable of doing. The hundreds of people that we've trained on this task almost 100% of the time have learned quickly and efficiently to do this. If they can learn to do this task, this task which in and of itself means nothing at all, certainly many of the things that we have kept from them, complicated things to learn, we think. Many of those things are things that they could learn, things that would allow them to join us as thoroughly participating members of society. This is Barbara. She's 19 years old and for the last 11 years has lived in an institution. According to her records, her IQ is 11, whatever that means. She's working with this task and with me for the first time. She's more talkative than a lot of the people we work with. It's a pleasure to work with people like this because you can see the growth so fast. You can see changes in their dignity and how they approach the task, how they feel about training. You listen to her complaining here, and yet her hands are cooking. Why can't the people we serve have their balances too? Why can't we give them genuine competence? Why can't we give them things that not everyone else has? The answer is, is that we can. As soon as we decide that they have the right to acquire really sophisticated, genuine skills, social skills, self-help skills, academic skills, etc., etc., then they can have the same chunk of the action that we have. 